my little makeup lovers and thank you for coming back. So today is a very special day. I have been lucky enough to have somebody else who wants to collab with me. I know, I'm getting lucky with that. Um, so far I have collabed with some of the best women here on the internet and the ball just keeps rolling in my favor. I just keep getting wonderful women who wanna collab with me and I am so lucky and blessed for that. Um, today I'm collab collabing with Jen from La Beauty Girly 07. She is another uh, beauty YouTuber here. And when I mean beauty, I mean she is beautiful. She is beautiful on the inside and she's beautiful on the outside. She has a channel similar to mine. She does a lot of product reviews and she shows her products that she has and does the, um, she looks at her foundations and her primers and her bronzers and she shows you everything and she does makeup tutorials. She basically does it all and she does it all with class, but she also does it with a sense of humor, which I, I of course, truly enjoy. I love a little spark in it, you know. I like a little funniness because it doesn't have to, makeup can be a serious business. It's a very big money maker for the big companies, but it's also fun, you know. I got into this because I wanted to have fun with makeup, not to be serious with makeup. So that's how I try to run my channel, is just to have fun. And I noticed Jen does the same thing. So um, I noticed that she also likes to do a lot of foundation reviews, but she is more on the oily side and I'm more on the dry side. So we decided together that, hey, why don't we give the people that watch our videos the best of both worlds? We'll use the same foundations and I will give the perspective from more normal to dry and Jen will give the perspective of more normal to oily skin and see how a foundation suits and find out at the end what works best for it. Will it work best for all of us or will it work best for more oily or dry skin? So that's what it is. So again, Jen, thank you so much for wanting to collab with me. It means the world to me that anybody ever wants to collab with me. Um, when I first started this YouTube, I just wanted to have 20 subscribers and somebody who actually wants to work with me is a blessing that nobody will ever understand. So today, Jen and I will be doing the CoverGirl Outlast Active. I believe this just recently came out in the last couple months. Um, what it says on the back, it says up to 24 hours wears that won't let you down. Sweat proof, transfer proof, humidity proof. I can't really do the humidity part, but maybe Jen, where she lives, could do some more of that. Oil free, won't clog pores, dermatology tested and suitable for all skin types, it says. And again, remember, uh, CoverGirl recently uh, became cruelty free, so that is an extra bonus about it too. But I do feel lucky when I can start reviewing a more cruelty free uh, brand like CoverGirl. So, um, I'm going to, again, go off and show you guys the swatches and let you see what they have. And I'll be back a little bit more and we'll start applying it to my face. Not really the best shade range. Cover girl, you can do a lot better than what you're doing. Just letting you know. But on their site, which of course, they have a lot of really good reviews saying that it really does last through sweat proof and you know it's lightweight so people have been giving it a good rating but then you got to take that with a grain of salt because that's on cover girl site and i think curvo girl's gonna kind of want to do good stuff on their site not show the bad reviews just thinking okay Enough jib jabbering. Let's get some foundation on before the freaking sun goes down over here. All right, let me put my little ears on. So cute. Um, as usual, I'm going to do one side with a sponge, and I'm going to do one side with my brush. 
So this is my Morphe sponge and this is my Real Techniques brush. So let's get to applying. Um, right now it's probably about 1.15. So by the time I get done with all this, we'll probably say that the uh, time is at uh, 2 o'clock or 1.30. I got it in 8 ton. This is in classic ivory you will not see that because of course why would it show you that so all right let's see it is in just a little squeeze bottle here and there is no safety seal because why would there be that always makes me comfortable all right sounds very liquidy so i'm going to shake it up just a little bit okay And this is what it looks like. And it is very liquidy as it's going down my hand or finger. And there we go. Ugh. It does not have the best scent in my opinion, but hey, it, sound, it smells like sunscreen. I know there is SPF in here. There is SPF of um, 20. So it's kind of having a SPF uh, smell to it. All right, let me get my little mirror out. Um, use my Morphe sponge on this side. And I probably, I just put like a finger swatch of it on. So probably one pump went on this side of my face. Definitely smells like sunscreen. Definitely. All right. I'm going to say... I'm going to say that that's too bright. There. Hopefully that's a little better. Well, I'm going to say that first layer went down kind of like just a light layer. Definitely can see freckles and moles and everything coming through. Still see some redness coming through. So, all right, let us do the other side, though, and see how the brush works out. Again, I'm just going to squeeze a little finger and put that on this side here. And see how this goes. I have a feeling I'm gonna be adding some more, but I wanna see what works best, the brush or the sponge, or if they both work the same. Definitely the sunscreen is coming through on this. That's for sure. I like applying it. I think it gave me more coverage with the brush, but it is also streaky with my brush. So what I would probably do with this foundation for myself is I would apply it with the brush and then when I'm done, I would just take my sponge and just kind of blend it in a little bit better. But in all honesty, that's what I like to usually do on a normal basis. So just get that on here. When I'm not, when I'm not testing foundations, that's what I do in my real life. But for me, I think that I'm getting more coverage with the brush than the sponge. Still, I'm not loving it around my nose, but I don't mind it on the skin. Oh, I wanted to let you guys know that I, um, I'm testing out, not testing, but I'm trying some new products 
um, that's gonna come in a later video, but I'm just letting you know that um, I'm using the Luminous uh, Stick from Wet n Wild. That's what I put on my face as a primer. So I don't know how luminous. I actually look like I'm pretty matte, which I'm not 100% happy with, but. All right, I put another squeeze on here and I'm gonna put some over here, 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 and here just to see if I can build it up a little bit more. Cause I do believe it said, well, it doesn't say on here, but I think it's more of a medium coverage kind of foundation. So, but I could be wrong about that. Isn't the first time I'm wrong, won't be the last time. Oh, and if you have come over from Jen's channel, hello. Thank you for coming by and checking me out. If you like my content, I would love it if you would uh, stay. And if you are not already subscribed to Jen's channel, please go over there and check her out. I really do think you'll enjoy her quite a bit and tell her I sent you and um, subscribe. All right, I'm gonna take my sponge here. I'm gonna pat this out. For me, I think I got too yellow of a shade for my face, even though it said Classic ivory, I don't know. That's the problem with me a lot with CoverGirl. It's been a problem with a lot of their foundations is most of them turn really yellow on my skin. They don't have a lot of pink based ones and that's usually what I go for. So, but that's a personal problem. That it has nothing to do with the foundation itself. That's just me wishing that they came out with more different shades. But I wish that about most foundations would come out with more shades. Okay. I have this up probably to about light medium coverage is usually what I'm more comfortable with. If I try to put more on it just looks more cakey on my skin. That's just honest. I think I'm good with that. Let me get up so you guys can see. To me, it's kind of looking matte. So what I might do is give a spray of my uh, MAC Fix Plush just to kind of give it a little help. Again, I'm not here to do things to make a foundation fail. I treat every foundation that I test like I would treat any foundation that I am going to wear for the day. So I always put a good moisturizer down, I always put a good primer down for myself, and I always set, spray it with a good setting spray. I know some people do try-ons where they don't do anything for it and just let it sit on their skin. That's fine, you do how you do it but I like to treat it like I'm going to treat a foundation. I want everybody fair across the board. I don't wanna be like, well, that didn't work for me. Well, of course it didn't work for me because I didn't do what I normally do with it. So that's how I do my try-ons. All right, I did have a CoverGirl. I didn't find the CoverGirl Active Concealer where I was at. They just had the foundations, but I did have a CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Concealer. So I thought I would just use that. And that, of course, is also very yellow toned. Like I said, I can't get away from yellow tone concealers from, or uh, foundations or concealers from CoverGirl. Maybe someday they'll start being better about that, but. All right a little better. I usually put some right here. That's good enough. Ugh. This 
this concealer, you can let it sit for a second without having to run to it quickly to spread it out. So that's kind of nice. There are some concealers where if you do not blend it out right when you put it down, you are screwed. This isn't one of them. All right. All right, my first feelings on this is it's definitely more matte than I enjoy wearing as a normal to dry um, person. I definitely, if I wear it again in the future, I need to even be a little more hydrating underneath it, be a little more luminous because even though I put on the, even though I put on this luminous stick from Wet n Wild, I'm not seeing a lot of it coming through. So what I will do um, is I'm gonna go kind of spray this and set this all this down and hopefully, um, it'll be better. So, okay guys, I am gonna go finish my makeup, go do the other video, and then when I'm done, I'm going to let you know how it's still working out for me. Like I said, it's about 1.30, so that'll be my start time. So from here on out, we'll do some check-ins with you guys and see how this is holding up. So. I'll see you in a bit. It is about 2.30, so it's been on my face for about an hour. It looks okay. I don't have any complaints right now. Um, I did originally use my MAC setting spray when I first put it down because I forgot that I am testing this uh, cucumber spray. You'll have to watch that video so you know how I feel about that. So I have sprayed my face with this. This one is a uh, prep, set, and refresh. So I don't think this one adds any luminosity to it. It just sets your makeup. So, but so far, so good. So we'll see how the day goes. Um, I think we're gonna go do laundry and that kind of stuff. So. We'll see how makeup holds up for the rest of the day. So I'll see you guys in a few hours, unless I think there's some dramatic change that I need to tell you guys about. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. Hey everybody, um, it's about six o'clock. Um, foundation's been on about four and a half hours and everything looks fine. I don't have any complaints. Um, my blush, bronzer, Everything that is on top of it looks fine. It's not looking cakey. Um, I could have built it up a little bit more around here. Um, but this is my problem area too. So if I build it up too much, then it can really start looking cakey. And so I didn't want to do that to this foundation. So... It hasn't really, it's oxidized just a little bit, as you can see, kind of comes to here. So there is some oxidation with this foundation, at least on me. So, but other than that, it's looking pretty good. So I'll do another check-in uh, later on in the evening. I'll be back. Hey, I'm back for my final check-in. I'm in the bathroom, if you can see the shower head right here. Boop, 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 boop. Um, Okay, sorry, no playing games. I'm getting a little slap happy. Um, this foundation has been on 130, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, this has been on for about nine and a half hours at this point. And I think it has done a doggone good job. Um, I really don't. 
I haven't really done any touch-ups since I put this on. I think I sprayed my face one more time after I was done with everything. But since then, I really haven't done anything else. This doesn't feel horrible on my face. It's not like the last time when I reviewed the Koki foundation where I just was like, oh, I gotta get that off my face. It's driving me crazy. This doesn't feel bad. This just feels lightweight. It feels good. I have no problem with it. It has, you know, come off this area here, but I wouldn't eat pizza. So, you know, you get pizza on you and blah, blah, blah. It's all over your face and you wipe it. So, but other than that, I really think it looks good. So if you are of dry to normal skin, this is a good little product. Um, it lasts, it oxidized just a little bit. It wasn't horrible. The only complaint I have, and I just have that with all the CoverGirl foundations, is that they are a little too yellow for me but I made it work. Once you start bronzing and all that, I think you can make it work for you. And the concealer was fine. I, I think this is a good product. I am really curious to see how it is going to work for Jen. Um, yeah, if you're of normal to dry skin, I think you should give this a check. I think you might actually like it, so. All right, I wanna thank Jen again for uh, collabing with me on this foundation video. I hope to do one again with her really soon. I think this is fun, and I also think it's helpful to get perspective on both sides of the spectrum, from oily skin to dry skin, and see how it affects us. Sometimes I think it's gonna affect us the same, and sometimes we're gonna have a whole different thought process on it, and that's what I love. Um, so again, thanks Jen mwah, for doing this. I'm going to link her channel below. Please go over there and watch her video and subscribe. I know you won't just be disappointed in her. She is an awesome YouTuber and you will enjoy her content. So, all right, I'm going to let you go. Thumbs up for this. It's a good foundation. All right, guys, I will see you again real soon.